There are over 10,000 cards in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. From Pot of Greed to Firewall Dragon, the possibilities are endless. In this series, can your favorite content creators figure out what card I'm thinking of? I've got $100, and they've got 10 questions. It could literally be anything. Welcome to Guess That Card. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time to guess that card. We have the wonderful host of the former auction series, Mr. One and Only, Ruxin34. Phil, how are you doing, my friend? Oh, I'm feeling great. It's good to be back. It's good to not be doing auction. I mean, it's bad to not be doing auction series. <laughs> we are here with this game that I'm not really sure how it works. So let's just get into it, figure it well, out. I'll go ahead and explain it to you. So right. I am going to be thinking of a card and you have 10 questions that you can ask, 10 yes or no questions to figure out the identity of that card. And if you get it correct, you will win yourself $100. You ready Ooh. to play? I'm ready, but also I feel like I'm getting shorted about 10 questions here because I thought it's supposed to be 20. So well, yeah, it's, it's 10. Okay. That's not how 20 questions. That's not how this game works. That's how 20 questions work. So oh, your so first this is a question. Game. Okay, this is it. a very different game uh, because it's actually way more fun than actual 20 questions because oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. theme. Wait, that's it? It's just different by having 10 questions? Or that's it. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so much more fun. You have less chances. All right. So I just need to start off with something. Okay. So this could be any card ever printed. And this is right. This isn't a question. Yep. This is a clarification, okay? <laughs> yes, that's your first question. Question and two. <laughs> also, this, this, I have another question that's not a question. Okay. This doesn't include Japanese cards, right? Or Korean or anything like that? We are going by English TCG cards. All right. Yes. I, I could technically be in two questions right now, but let's I just get I will be into... nice and I will let you start here at question one. All right, question one. Okay. I was trying to think earlier when I heard that I was going to be doing this, like, <laughs> what are some questions that really narrow it down? Oh, and I think my first question is going to be is this an effect monster yes this is okay, an effect monster okay good that's a good start i was trying to think of the best way to narrow it down for someone like me and i think the way to do it is uh do stuff with like the print like the print and stuff like that okay uh, so okay. we know that it's an effect monster i would like to know the original print of this card the, the first okay. printing was this printed in an odd year was this printed in an odd year like an odd numbered year an odd numbered year that's a very interesting question because like i have to actually go look five, up the seven, answer something like that the original print of this card you asked was it in a odd year yeah so anywhere from 2003 5 7 9 11 something like that no it was not okay so now we now know it's in an even year okay so that's okay. good that's a pretty so, good question so we've kind of we've have the field of the original print the question is do i know the original print of this card i'm hoping <laughs> i do currently um, no <laughs> currently no the problem is i thought i had 20 when i was brainstorming starting so this seemed like a better strategy back then uh, now we're already on to question three we're 20 i never away. told you how many questions you had when we started this okay this is just getting confusing all right uh, i'm just gonna keep going with the strategy that i was thinking that i was gonna do so we're we're, okay. at, we're at we're down to like what is it 20 years of Yu-Gi-Oh? so we got 10 years left and you know it's an effect monster i know that's it's an very effect important monster. that that actually narrowed it down a lot i thought i was gonna have to go like start with effect to go to like extra deck and stuff but i don't have to do that so that's good um well to be fair i mean monsters in the extra deck have effects so yeah, that's not an effect monster though that's that's a xyz or something like that okay we'll see oh my goodness <laughs> all right okay i'm thinking that i want to narrow it down a little bit more because we're still like the even year is really it's still a large range here okay because, because sure. i asked and i know it's an even year okay. so to get it right in the middle i think i need to ask was the original printing of this card printed before 2011 yes okay so i know it's either 2002 4 6 8 or 10 so i know it's in there somewhere i'm uh, okay now i so I, that's my third question, right? I like, yes, that's your third question. You're being very tactical with how you're uh, narrowing down I'm the card I'm trying to just here. close it into a corner so I know exactly what to guess. Uh, the problem is there's still a lot of cards in those years. Yeah, so. you've probably narrowed it down to like 5,000 cards at this point, which, <laughs> yeah. which should I mean, be I've fair, it's half fine. The cards, not bad. Yeah, because half of them since 2010 are all reprints, so. I, I will also give you a little bit of help here. You do not have to ask what the card is for your 10th question. You'll get 10 questions and then you guess what the card is at the very end. Okay, okay, cool, I like that. All 
All right, so I'm three in, I've got seven to go, and then I've got to guess. Yes, and currently okay. you know that it is an effect monster. The original no printing monster. is not an odd year, and you know the original printing was before 2011. Okay, so I'm just gonna write down 2002, 04, 06, 08, and 10. Uh, for me, I feel like it's gonna be one of those early years, but I could be wrong, unless if you're tight casting me or whatever, you're trying to get me one that I actually would know. Maybe, uh, maybe. It could be, or it could, maybe you're trying to throw me off, you threw in like an Edison card or something like it that. It could be literally anything except if it was printed after 2010 or if it was an odd year i think now we should probably go for like a rarity so before 2010 we can immediately eliminate starlights there are no starlights before then there are no well there are ghost rares there's a couple ghost rares Few. uh ultimate rares secret rares i mean we basically have every rarity besides starlights we don't have starfoil don't have starfoil yeah i i'm sure you would have, if you had given me a starfoil that would have been criminal maybe i gave um, you a parallel rare who knows those yeah those those exist. those are I mean, those are fair game <laughs> those are fair game okay okay i'm gonna do this i think it's probably a yes answer but i just want to confirm and like kind of okay. lock it in sure. was this a card used in the dual monsters anime was this a card in the dual monsters anime yes Okay, cool. So that means most likely 2010 is out. Maybe two, 2008 probably. Actually, I, I say that, but they actually printed like Gazelle or Chimera in like 2010 or whatever. So uh, if for some reason you went for that, that'd be really funny if that was the card. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking we're probably in the 2002 to 2006 range is my guess. Okay. Um, we've used four questions. We've got six to go. Yes, this will be your halfway point, which to be fair, I think you're doing a pretty good job narrowing it down for what it's worth. Okay. I think you're doing better than Gage did last episode. Oh, well, <laughs> That's good. That's good. I think I, I think at this point I want to do rarities uh, and I could probably narrow it pretty well if I do rarities. Thinking that it's in one of those first, uh, you know, 2002 through 2006, mm -hmm. it's most likely going to be either a super ultra secret or ultimate. I could be an ultimate. I'm guessing not an ultimate though. That's just my feel. I think I'm going to ask based on the fact that uh, secret rares, there's not a lot of them. So asking if it's a secret or not doesn't help that much. I think I'm going to ask, is this card an ultra rare in its original printing this card is not an ultra rare in its original oh, printing. okay all right that helps a lot because there's 10 ultras per main set so that really cuts out like big stuff like you know like the blue eyes dark magician all that stuff like that originally the uh buster blader is out uh you know what's kind of weird because change of heart original printing not an ultra rare but it's metal raider so it could be the common change of heart that'd be kind of interesting right because its uh, original printing was from starter, yeah, starter deck, deck yugi, yugi kaiba so, mm -hmm. was it yugi or kaiba i can't remember one of the two but uh, yugi it was yugi okay yes. all right so i'm halfway through my questions we know that it is not an ultra yes i will repeat the questions it is an effect monster which original print is not an odd year the original printing was before 2011 it was in the dual monsters anime and the card is not an ultra rare in its original printing oh of course it's not blue as a dark magician it's effect monster okay, <laughs> okay well, all right. i wasn't gonna say it but yeah okay now that i remember that i asked that question okay we're honestly pretty narrowed down at this point to what we could ask i would say so should yeah. i continue on the rarity track or should i go to somewhere else is the question um i feel like if i figure out it's like a secret rare that would be like i'd have a really good guess at that point um but the problem is if you're wrong <laughs> I'm wrong. Okay, I know it's not a, a spell or trap. That's actually really helpful. Maybe I should try, let's think. Uh, I guess I could do like who used it in the anime. That could be a good guess. There's a lot of characters though, if you start getting into that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That could be a bad guess. Cause if, you know, if I guess Yugi, if I'm right, then it's like, yay. But if I'm not, it's like, well, what other 17 sidekicks is it? Um, <laughs> Oh, at this point, I didn't get this far in my planning. I was like, what am I going to do after that? I don't know. We're just going to wing it. So I'm pretty sure Gage had a plan too, and it all fell apart around this point. It so all fell that's, that's, well, that's pretty typical. Like you're, you're getting kind of close on the questions. You know, you don't want to get too specific. You need some more broad ones. But also you're running out of questions. So it's this balance Actually, of... <laughs> I kind of want to just slice these years in half, you know, potentially, okay. and just okay. guarantee that I'm actually in the range I think I'm in. Oh, I got I got a good one. I got a good one. Okay. Was this card printed, the original print of the card, printed in a main uh, core set? Yes. Okay, so that's good. So we know that. Okay, that's our sixth question. That actually helps a lot because I don't have to worry about starter decks, anything like that. I, I feel like I'm in the, the 2002 to 2004 range, but I got to really think about what the actual card is. It's not an ultra rare. It's from a main set. I'll read, I mean, the, could... the, I'll read the questions back to you. It's an effect monster. The original yeah. print is not an odd year. The original printing was before 2011. 
It was in the Duel Monsters anime, not an ultra rare in the original printing, and the original print was a main core set. Three, I mean, this, I'm sorry, four questions remaining. You are on question seven. Yeah, this could literally be like, I mean, it could be man eater bug, you know, it could be something like that. It could be, it could be a secret rare like Gate Guardian from Metal Raiders, a thousand dragon. Well, that's not an effect monster, which even though you implied that extra deck, but it would have to have an effect. So it still couldn't be that. Uh, Trihorn's normal, Gaia's normal. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna start making some notes of what I think it could possibly be. Okay. Uh, if we go to Magic Ruler, we got secret rares. We've got, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. That's technically an effect monster. I guess it could be that. Um, uh, Serpent Knight is out. Uh, Pharaoh's Servant. We got Jinzo. That def Jinzo's definitely an option. That's in the anime. So for the secret rares, we've got three options from DLC. We got Gate Guardian, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon, and Jinzo. We would have to go to Supers, Commons, Rares. It could be anything like that. Uh, ooh, I kind of want to narrow down the rarity and really figure it out. Because if it's like a rare, there's a lot of good ones. Metal Raiders, Matt, you know, Magician of Faith, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangan. All that stuff is a good option. Uh, if I'm even in the right years. So that's why I need to figure out where I'm at. <laughs> but I'm running out. I've only got... What? Four, four left? questions left. Okay, four left. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to cut down the years. I'm going to figure out if I'm in the right ballpark. What's a way to get creative and eliminate more than, you know, two or three years? Is there any way to get rid of four years here? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. 2002, 2004, 2006. What's a unique difference between one of them? I don't know. What's a unique difference? Oh, there's got to be something. I've got, I've got one that can guarantee sort of where I'm at. Does... Does the year that this original print card was printed also have ultimate rares in that year? Repeat the question. Does the original print of this card, okay. the, the, the first year it was printed, does that year also have sets that have ultimate rares? No. It doesn't. Okay, so I'm guaranteed to be 02 or 04 now. So I'm down to those years. Let's eliminate 06. I kind of thought I was in there, but I thought 06 could possibly be in there, you know, with like maybe ancient gear golem or something like that. All right, three questions ago. We're in 2002 to 2000 or 2004. Do I want to try and cut down on that or should I cut on the rarity? I think the rarity is the best thing now. I'm pretty much between common, super, or secret. Those are the options. If it's secret, then I have three potential right answers and I could really cut Ooh, it down. That's exciting. And like, so, but if I guess secret, it's not secret, then I still have three options. Oh, I've got a very, I've got one that can split it in half. Is that, is that worth it to split it in half? Cause I still have two options at that point. But that I seems to have been your approach this entire time, just splitting but it in I half. I guess keep splitting it. I have three, I have three more questions. So I could do that one time. I give me two more questions to kind of dig into it. I think that's what I want to do. Is the original print of this card, did it include any hollow foil? Did the original print of this card include any hollow foil? Is that the yeah. question? Yes. No. Okay. So we're looking at commons or rares then. Interesting. So we're eliminating secret rares. No hollow foil in the original print. Okay. So none of those secrets matter. So I have two more questions. I'm down to commons or rares from 2000. To, I have a huge pool still. <laughs> oh, I almost need to know if it's a common or if it's rare. If it's Petite Moth, I'm going to murder you. Um, well, you uh, know it's an effect monster, so you know it's not Petite Moth. <laughs> are you telling me there's not an effect? It, you win you the game when you play it. Oh, okay. It's a, an anime card. Okay, I feel like I might have said it. It could have been a Metal Raiders. You know, actually, this is really good because... Well, kind of good. We know that it's almost certainly not from Legend of Blue Eyes because they have three effect monsters. <laughs> three effect monsters. We got, Reaper, we got the Reaper of the cards, so it could be that. Um, it's in the anime, so that's technically available. We've got, um, what's the other one? Isn't there one other effect monster in that set? Uh, you can't tell me. Don't tell me. Um, but when we get into Metal Raiders, there's a lot. There's a, there's a lot of options. It's like Magician of Faith, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangan. I mean, there's so many of them. I almost want to figure out if it's which set it's in, but I only have two questions left. I don't think I have enough to do that. Hmm. You're getting very close though, which is the exciting part. I am getting close. Like I have potential to, to get it, but I also have potential to completely screw it up. I haven't used Dueling Book at all yet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 2004, what, what am I even missing? Like it could be in 2004, which I'm trying to remember what exactly the sets are. It cuts off Dark Crisis is the end of 2003. So it's after that. That's Invasion of Chaos, Ancient Sanctuary. Uh, we've got Soul of the Duelist, Rise of Destiny, and uh, Flaming Eternity, I think are all in there. And then the Lost Millennium is 2005. I think maybe one of those last few is in 2005. I can't remember. How can I how can I give myself a chance here? Because right now there's like thousands of guesses I could give. It's like maybe hundreds at this point. I do think for what it's worth, the, the card pool has been narrowed down quite a bit at this point. I have sliced it a decent amount for sure. Um, to repeat the questions you've asked so far, it is yeah. an effect monster. The original okay. print is not an odd year. The original printing was before 2011. It was in the Dual Monsters anime. 
It is not an ultra rare and it's an original printing. The original print was a main core set. The year of the original printing of this card does not have ultimate rares. And the original print of this card did not include hollow foil. Oh, wait, what am I doing? 2004 has ultimate rares. <laughs> Because I forgot about Soul, like I was thinking Lost Millennium. And then of course, Soul of the Duelist. Okay, we're in 2002. Okay, yeah, 04, you're out of here. Okay, 2004, that leaves us with four sets. Okay, I feel better now. LOB has like two effect monsters. It's probably not Reaper of the Cards. I'm just gonna say that. I'm just gonna go ahead and just move <laughs> What if on. it were Reaper of the Cards? <laughs> if it's Reaper of the Cards, I'm gonna be very angry, but I'm just, I'm crossing <laughs> it off right now. Just know that I'm crossing it off. Okay, we're moving on okay. Metaled Raiders, Magic Ruler, and Pharaoh Servant. Those are our three options. It's a core set. It's a non-foil. Is there anything? Okay, so it's not Hungry Burger. That doesn't have an effect. It doesn't. It's just a flavor text. Ritual flavor text, right? Yeah. So it's not any of those rituals from Magic Ruler. So I guess it could be something like, but is Hungry Burger in the anime? If it's not, that's a huge miss. Um... <laughs> Okay, I feel like I feel like Metal Raiders. That's just what I feel like because it's super strong with the anime cards. Like really, really high okay. in anime. You know, lots of anime stuff and they're low rarity stuff too. So I'm kind of leaning towards going like trying to nail down something in Metal Raiders. If I get, if I ask if it's a rare, that could really help because if it's like, okay, now I know it's probably Magician of Faith, Witch of the Black Forest, Sangant. If I've been saying these the whole time, it's one of these. Or it could be one of the commons, but the commons are, I mean, there are some, there are some commons. I guess White Magical Hat, is that in the anime okay what can i ask this is your second I, to last question second to last i could ask something like what format it's used in i can see if it's ever been banned but there's too many cards that have been banned i that would just that would just confuse me so let's not ask that um gage did ask a question similar to that for what it's worth yeah but gage gage probably remembers the list a little bit better than i do going through like prog <laughs> and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him stick with that. So yeah, I could ask something about you said it is an effect monster. I, I did, uh, let's clarify. I don't, I don't know if this can, I don't know if you can clarify that. If you can't answer this, just tell me. Is a flip effect monster different than an effect monster? Or a they flip all effect, effect monster effect is still considered an effect monster. Okay, so it could be a flip effect. It could not because like the way to differentiate, I could ask maybe if it's what do you call like a saying again, kind of like a searcher. Right, that could the, be a question. Like, yeah. is that what the word is? Okay, if the answer is yes, I know it's not magician of faith. I could ask the flip thing if you say yes then i i know it's not sangan or witch of the black forest that's if it's one of these three like it might not even be a rare it might be a common which would be just be messed up i feel like you wouldn't do me that <laughs> dirty that's why i'm kind of going with the rare side because like it's like it's at least a rare you know i'm just really i'm really like tunnel visioned on those three right now yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying you talking yourself in circles uh trying to figure this out right now and i'm yeah. sure the audience is enjoying this as well uh, i'm tunnel visioned <laughs> into those three and i know there's i think there's a couple other rares that i'm not thinking of that are iconic as well and you're assuming it's a rare i am but if you gave me a common that's just wrong that's just wrong <laughs> okay but what if i gave you petite moth that's a common yeah but you already told me it's not that so i know but well, well you narrowed that out based off your questions but yeah, that would have been not, a common let's be honest it's not a common it's a rare card okay <laughs> uh, we only pulled your two eyes. out of that Portuguese Metal Raiders box. You remember? That's true. It was That's pretty true. rare. Okay. That was Korean, not Portuguese. <laughs> uh, whatever. You know, the two things that people <laughs> open. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That Petit or petite Moth belongs in Portuguese, though, because Pequeno Moth. Okay, I'm going to ask a question. Let's get on with it. All right, question I, nine. I think I'm going to try and guarantee that it's a rare, just so I'm not, like, talking okay. myself crazy. So I want to know, um, is this... I guess I just need to ask straight up, because I'm pretty sure it's either common or rare. I didn't mess... Unless I messed up somewhere along the line. But is this card a rare? Yes. Okay, so that was a worthless question. I already did that. Okay, <laughs> so now I am just sure that it is one of these, or it's got to be one of these. So it's a rare from Metal Raiders, and well, okay, let's let's take a look, quick look. What's a magic ruler? It's a bunch yeah. of the it's a bunch of the floaters, stuff like that. Usually those actually they could be actually they probably are in the anime actually and Mystic so tomato. while you're while you're taking a look i'll repeat the question so you know it's an effect monster the original print is not in an odd year the original okay. print is before 2011 it was in the dual monsters anime not an ultra rare in its original printing original print was a main core set the original print of this card's year is not in a year with ultimate rares the original print of this card did not include hollow foil and this card is a rare card pharaoh servant rares i don't think there's really anything in terms of like anime stuff. So, so what are you just, doing at this point? Are you just we're, trying to? Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I'm in Metal Raiders. I'm cutting out Pharaoh Servant. LOB, okay, let's just go back to LOB. Is there any rares? I guess Reaper of the Cards technically is still available. <laughs> um, I, I think that's the only rare that I can think of. Uh, so Magic Ruler has like the floater stuff as rares, which is a little scary that it could be that, I guess. But I think the list of cards you have at this point is actually quite slim. It is low, like, because I'm pretty sure I'm in Metal Raiders, which gives me like, oh, I'm allowed to look, right? Yeah. Uh, am I allowed to look up like the set? What do you mean? 
Like, can like I look, look up, up the Metal set? Raiders set list? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, that's why oh, you're recording your screen. <laughs> well, I thought I could only look up specific cards. Okay, that's actually no. nice to know. Uh, that's uh, the other reason I only give you 10 questions, that you get the ability to search things. Oh, well, that, that helps. Okay, uh, I was trying to do it all from memory. Okay, let's go to price guide. Just go look at all the uh, things going on here. This actually helps a lot. I wish I had known I could do this. I probably did know. I just kept going. There are so many comments in Metal Raiders. If it was a comment, it would have been so bad. All right, Bladefly, not in the anime. Cannon Soldier, I think might have been in the anime, actually. Uh, Dark Elf, maybe. I can't remember. Elegant Egotist, not a great moth. Would you like to confirm? <laughs> no, go ahead. Okay, all right. <laughs> Unless uh, that's a question. Uh, that's not a question. Little little Chimera, no. Uh, Magician of Faith, Mask of Darkness. Mask of Darkness might have been in there. Um, some of these random ones were probably in there. There's so many rares in this set. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, what's a way? It's not going to be one of these super random ones. It's going to be Witch of the Black Forest. Maybe you would ask me White Magical Hat because you love that card, but I'm just going to, I don't think it's that. Shadow Ghoul, that's a good one. Um, Sangan, uh, Magician of Faith, Great Moth. I feel like it's one of those. I think okay. there are other potential options, but I think it's one of those. So let's, let's write it down so I can just think of a way that I can kind of eliminate some of these. Great Moth. I'm pretty sure that I'm on the right track right here, which is going to be okay. really funny when I'm not even close. Like it's in, it's literally the reaper of the cards uh we're gonna pull out these <laughs> so you're confident that you're in metal raiders at this point i am not 100 percent, but i am okay. pretty sure i think magic ruler has potential to be in there i'm gonna double check it though okay i want to go back and make sure that we didn't uh oh wait which one did i not get the great moth don't forget about grande moth all right grande moth so that's our options for metal raiders let's go check out magic ruler since i now know i can look at the freaking card list <laughs> that was why I had you pull that up from the start <laughs> yeah I, I know i know i got carried away okay all right, rarity. Let's go to the rares. Okay, amoeba. No, cyber jar. Now that is one that could be there. Let's, uh, giant germ. I mean, giant rat and giant germ. I feel like there's no way they weren't in the anime somehow, but maybe they weren't, but I don't think it was that. Mystic tomatoes kind of iconic could be in there. You're using the English sets, right? You're not, no pot yes. of greed and magic ruler like in English European sets. or anything. English sets. <laughs> Cause it pops up pot of greed on here. And cyber jar, it kind of made me think, okay, maybe it's cyber jar. That's pretty iconic. I should have asked about the ban list. It just came off the the list. Okay, so I have. You have a tenth question. You have a tenth question. I know. I need to think of a good one though, because I have seven options right so here. So seven. You've narrowed it down in your realm to seven options. There yeah. are others, but you think it's one of the seven that you currently are looking at. Yeah, it could be. It could not be. Okay, let's do some. Let's see if there's any sort of consistency here. Uh, okay, so we have spellcaster, fiend, spellcaster, zombie, insect, rock, fairy. That is not going to be very helpful. We have <laughs> light dark earth dark 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 oh light okay so if i can eliminate the darks that would really help or if i could figure out if it is a dark i'd have a 25 percent chance assuming these are right that's not that helpful but if it was then i would have a 33 percent chance if it's not a dark effectively cuts it in half one way or another yeah i mean it gives me a good guess is what is a way that i could eliminate more than that Okay, we have two women-based cards. It's Magician <laughs> of Faith, and okay. we have a monster in Sangan. We have a monster in Shadow Ghoul. What is Cyber Jar? Like a freaking UFO or something? Like, what <laughs> it's is a <he>? jar. <laughs> it's act, uh, nothing there. They're all kind of different. There's one flip effect here. No, there's two flip effects, but Sinju also has a, an effect when flipped. I can maybe put that into the question, get three out of there, but that kind of does effectively the same thing. I could ask something that like, if it is a yes, I have like a 50-50 between like Sangan and Witch because they're very similar. I don't think it's Shadow Ghoul. I don't also don't think it's Sinju. I think Sinju would be very, very random. I think Cyber Jar could potentially be it. Great Moth could be it just because it's me and it mentions Petite Moth in the text. Next. That makes interesting me think there's point. A, that makes me think there's a decent chance this is the Great Moth. I, I'm honestly leaning toward Great Moth just because of that, because it's okay. like not super obvious, but it's a, it's like got a hint of the Petite Moth. But then like you might just be like that would be a little bit too obvious because you think it was it, <laughs> you know. So you know it just depends on, on which way you want to go with that. But then of course Moth, Sang, and Witch, they're not too conspicuous because they're rares. I'm not even going to ask a question. I'm going to eliminate Shadow Ghoul. I'm going to eliminate Senju. I'm going to cut myself down to the five. Cutting down to five. Okay. If I'm down to Witch or Great Moth, I'm picking Great Moth. I can almost, this, I kind of like this question. Okay, this is what we're going to do. This is your 10th and final this question. This is my last question. I'm going to cut it down. I'm going to give myself good odds. It Does this monster have less than four stars? Does this monster have less than four stars? Is that your final question? That's my final question. And then I get to guess, right? Yes. Okay, that's my final question. The monster 
does not have oh. less than four stars. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So we're down to which and we're down to Great Moth. We got a 50-50 chance here. And I already 50, told you what I was thinking. 50 chance. Uh, uh, if you're thinking for Ruxin, would you pick a Witch of the Black Forest or would you pick a Great Moth? Unless you like next leveled me and did this whole thought process down to these two and you're like he'll be thinking great moth at this point now make it rich <laughs> if you did that that would be insane like that would be awesome but i'm feeling pretty confident right now that i know what it is i might be wrong and i'm actually excited to see if i i'm actually interested to see if i completely missed it because i think there is a chance there i am going to guess for my final guess my my monster guess i think that the monster is great moth no no <laughs> what is it? Was I way off? Now, 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 Ruxin, I'm a fair man. You've known me from on auction series on multiple occasions. I'm a okay. fair man. I will let you keep asking questions. Oh no. If your prize gets reduced by ten dollars per question, I get ten more guesses. So you have ten more guesses potentially. Uh, so so I'm if not you even close, I'm in the wrong area so, then. You know, you have a 50-50 in your mind right here. You could ask if it's the other card, and then if that's wrong, you could go back because apparently you went wrong somewhere, right? <laughs> or you could circle all the way back and start over again, and maybe ask even more clarifying questions. That's up to you. This is your 11th question, but the thing okay. is, a guess now counts as a question. So yeah. if you want to ask about a specific card, that will be yeah. it. So okay, to, win, it, it. to win $90 now, you have to <laughs> you have to guess on this number right here. I'm so, so mad. I, I somehow messed up. I know it's not witch now, but I have to guess it. Is it witch? Yes, it what? is witch. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Yeah, suck it, Gage. Let's go. <laughs> Dang it, I could have had it in 10. You could have. You could have. Great, great so moth. I shouldn't have looked at the set list. Dang it. So, okay. I, the, when you said that you were going to go back and start over, I was like, oh my God, this is going to be hilarious. But <laughs> you, you made the right choice. Just ask it. Okay, so here was it's my logic. Here was my logic. So okay. I wanted to pick, because I know you have your fond love of Mr. Alistair the Invoker. I <laughs> had to pick a dark level four spellcaster to lead oh. you down the road of thinking that yeah. that's what it was gonna be. Yeah. But I also picked a card from Metal Raiders to make you think it was going to be Petite Moth or Great Moth as well. That's good, so, that's good. But my so, original questions cut out Alistair so early. <laughs> and they did, they did, yes. I didn't know which way you were gonna go with it. But yeah. at the same time, I wanted to pick a card just based off some of the other cards that you like that was like the actual attributes of multiple of them in one card so that you would go down a certain route and that's good yeah that's super yeah. good so i and I, you also know which and so i was like okay i think this will be a pretty At good one did so, i mentioned which the first time like question three it was like question three you mentioned it which of the black forest sangan i mean there's so many of them i was making faces on the camera the whole time you were doing oh, it oh <laughs> my gosh i was i was literally i i named that card like multiple times and i was like i know it's gonna be this now and then I next leveled myself by thinking about Metal Raiders and then seeing Great Moth. I was like, oh, it says Petite Moth. He's going to put that in there. And then, oh, man. Oh, so 11's pretty good. I'll take it. I honestly, uh, that's pretty good. I mean, that's about like what I was expecting. The way you were like surgically reducing each half of the card pool every single question, I think you may have only had, and you're probably thinking this in retrospect. Now I wanted to get your input on that. I think there's maybe one or two questions you asked that sort of overlapped. So you could have maybe saved yourself a question to win the full prize. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so tell me like, tell me about in retrospect, how you feel about everything. I feel pretty good. That was kind of the goal. It was like, okay, I can cut the, I can cut the card sets in half by doing the years. And then I can cut that in half by doing like earlier. I figured it was going to be early. I didn't even think about Alistair, to be honest. Uh, I probably should have, but I, I figured it would be an early set. And then I didn't think of that ultimate rare question until I was just thinking right now. I kind of had prepared the uh, even or odd and then before 2011 or whatever. Right. Because right. I was like, okay, I'll be able to immediately get a quarter of the years. And that'll be a lot easier. Yeah. And then the ultimate rare question, which I almost screwed up by forgetting about the ultimate rares in 2004. That was actually an amazing question once I realized 2004 was cut out too. Yeah. So yeah. I, did, I didn't want to say anything because like <laughs> you, you hadn't figured it out yet. Yeah. You kept like, oh, let me read the questions again. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah. So then I cut it down to 2002 and like the main sets and I was like four questions. If I can get the rarity down, you know, there's only a few options from the anime. Like I have to like be able to at least have a good guess at that point and you kept alluding that that the last one was not really the last question so i figured it might keep going if i missed it so i figured if i got it down to just a couple cards i could have it 
And uh, it's, it's funny because when you asked about the anime question, uh, which is a bit of an obscure one because which is in the anime, but it's not like prominent. It's right. played by, I think it's played by Rebecca. So like, yeah. you know, talk about side characters, right? Yeah, I remember uh, that it was in there like in a random season, but I knew it was the original season, like one of the later ones, like four or five or whatever. Yeah. Well, no, she actually played it like right in the filler arc, af like between uh, original oh, Duelist Kingdom and Battle City. Oh, yeah. before, like with the dual dice monsters and stuff. Yeah, like when they were doing oh, that. Oh, right. yeah. So yeah. she that played it I there. I was kind of pushed back there with those other seasons. <laughs> I was like, yeah, whatever, that's a weird thing. It's season. not real, it's filler. It's filler. Yeah. So that question didn't really help you all that much, but it's funny though, because it led you down well, that path. Well, it did path help me because it helped me eliminate a lot of rares. Once I got to the that's rares, true. I got that's to true. cut out a lot. I was like, I know that wasn't in there. Like some, I was like, maybe, but would he pick that? I doubt it. You, you know? did a very ballsy strategy though, because like you were just removing some that could have, it could could have been the card, yeah, but you're like, it, nah. I, I was like, this is not gonna be the question. There's no way. Like, I just had a <laughs> feeling about some of those. Like, I, Sinju, I think probably is in the anime. I'm not really sure. I was like, I doubt he picks Sinju with the 10 or the thousand hands. He could have, cause there was like some new support or whatever. So that maybe that would have been why, but I just had a good feeling that it was not one of those. So I got a little worried once you said it wasn't Great Moth. I was like, did I eliminate like something too early or whatever? And the fact that like Great Moth too, that was very prominent in the anime with like Weevil and everything. Yeah, and that's like, a big anime card. That's why I was like, okay. Yeah. This, this has a good chance. So, I mean, you got it down to a 50-50 on your first guess. So, it. yeah, but I mean, to be fair, it, it could have gone either way, right? I so, went with my gut most of the way. It was right until the end, and then I went back to it and got it on the witch, so. So, but I mean, you were, you were coming up with some unique questions, though, too. And even the ones you didn't ask, like, because you were even looking at the attributes of the card. You were looking at, oh, should I ask if it's like a woman? Oh, should I ask yeah. if... Uh, you know, when you're coming up with like the different star like lines and different things. Or right. like, you know, and I think the rarities really helps like just cutting, like cutting out the, the hollow foil question. I was like, I didn't have to worry about a ton of cards, like really yeah. iconic, like yeah. supers and ultras and stuff like that. I should have done the hollow foil question before the ultra question. That's yeah, that was done. one that there was overlap. That could have saved but you a question. I, I think I did the ultra first because I was assuming it was going to be a hollow foil. And I was immediately trying to like cut out some of the options. Mm, I should have yeah, because. With, hollow foil and then once i realized it wasn't i could have avoided the ultra question yeah because for a while you were still thinking it was going to be a secret after the ultras and yeah, so if it was a secret i was like way ahead because i would have been only like right I you were almost guaranteed left. you were guaranteed it if it was a secret at that point. yeah yeah so congratulations uh you did do better than gauge and uh yes. you are now 90 dollars richer to make Ooh. up for the hundred dollars you lost on the video that you and i just recorded for you <laughs> so we br Thanks we're basically even at this 90 percent yeah. of the giveaway <laughs> the reimbursement the reimbursement <laughs> Let's but go. congrats again thank you so much for coming on maybe we'll have you on again if you were so wish to come back and yeah, uh may maybe yeah. it'll happen who knows absolutely we maybe we have to get the chance Champions back who uh, the people who do the best and see who can uh, continue to keep excelling I and like, guess that card. I feel like somebody's going to be really good and just nail it in like five questions. We'll have to see. We'll see. We'll have to see. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode of Guess That Card. Be sure to let me know down in the comments any of your other fellow content creators you want to see on the series and be sure to stick around for next time. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Mono, Tim00, X3, Cameron Smith, MBT, Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball, Part 2, Pony Starks, The Synchro Guy, Dan the Man Hoban, I Ship, MBT, and Simo, Draconic, Phoenix, The Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, MBT, Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, Valen Jackson, Hornet, Aren't You Glad I Didn't Say Alpha Tribute, Ben 10, T DC Gaming, thanks for the sleeve stat. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Luabon, Yodabon, Helios 515, Simo's Chaos Cooking Draft, MBT funding the Iris with his Rothschild wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGMBTQ, Nim Noodle, Malabranch of the Burning Tunnel, Stella and Zoe Vermillion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen, Skull Servant, and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT cancel by all community soon, cancel by all committee soon, cancel by all players soon. Not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The MBT and MBT Yu-Gi-Oh! stands for Morbin Time, The Undertaker vs. Simo and MBT, Dalton, Hunter Reed, Shrugs IX, The Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Corvain, Dark Echo, TG Starman, Simus Engage, Viso the V, Wacky Waving, Arm Failing, Fable 2 Men, Selling Crudely Painted, Not So Funny, Plywood Cutout, Folk Art, and HatFormat.com. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.